in Fredericksburg, Texas, just uh, north of San Antonio. Um, <clears throat> just want to give you a quick update. My goodness, we have been in a crazy whirlwind from uh, or since December. So now that we're in March, but in December we, myself and Leah, both mobilized for the Send, and specifically Leah uh, traveled all of the month of February leading up to the Send. Uh, she led a prayer tour with Lou Engel uh, all across the state of Florida. So amazing. We just jumped from the Send into our assignment and uh, we bought our RV, our fifth wheel. So amazing. And then we... Um, it is so amazing. Right? Gosh. Then we flew Leah to Israel and uh, she met with some great leaders there. Uh, laying some groundwork for an assignment she'll tell you about in a few minutes. Um, then we traveled, myself and the kids drove from Orlando down to South Texas where we had an amazing meeting uh, with uh, some key pastors and then after that we followed up uh, with some individual uh, meetings with other key leaders. Oh gosh, we have a stadium gathering that we're mobilizing for on October 5th, 2019. It'll be our first American stadium gathering yeah. where we're really pulling together stadium Christianity, nameless and faceless. Yeah. We have 100 pastors, I think, pastors and leaders gather last weekend. It was just astounding. Tell them what that uh, Oh gosh, the, the, pa the new mayor, the newly elected mayor in Mission, he got up and he said, just boldly, he said, I want, I want Mission to be known as a faith-based community. What? I mean, that is awesome. He Wasn't that awesome? the meeting for the stadium gathering. I mean, what if every single mayor along the border yeah. said, we're opening up the gates for a move of God. Come <laughs> anyway, on. It, was, it was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. I need to tell you about our next assignment, which is in Israel. And um, do you want me to hold it? You hold the dog? Sure. We got our dogs with this. So we're going to be flying out, I think, next Sunday. Yeah. So going to Israel for 40 days. And uh, part of it is laying the groundwork. I found myself right in the middle, smack in the middle of something so historic. Um, some of you may have heard me talk about this land in Samaria. We're believing that there's a scripture in Jeremiah 31.6 that talks about these watchmen, these Nazarene, these Gentile watchmen gathering on the hills of Samaria saying, arise, let us go up to Zion. This property has been offered for us to do a prayer gathering. Lou and I are working together. Our families are going for 40 days. The uh, Amobiles, the Ramirez is we're gonna be mobilizing, gathering Arab Christians, uh, believing Jews, the remnant of believers in the land, Gentiles from without pulling together for this closed historic gathering on the hills of Samaria. We could not be more excited. It's um, it's bigger than anything we've done. Yeah. It's um, I don't know, not dangerous, a little. You know, you're pulling to excuse me, pulling together pieces that have never come together before. And so we find ourselves right in the middle of that. We need your prayer for sure for these 40 days. We also, we've been so busy, we really haven't invested time in building up a partner base, which is what you're supposed to be doing as you go around traveling the nations. We really haven't had time to do it. So we're asking you, please consider becoming a monthly partner with us. We really need your support. We're, I think we're good soil, yeah. but we, we're just in the middle of some big pieces. And because we're hitting the ground running, uh, on every you know, assignment. We yeah. want to give ourselves to that and not fundraising. We're just reaching out with humility, asking, consider partnering with us. We really need monthly partners to do what we do. You've been our friends, many of you for years. Just consider joining with our faith. We love you. We need you. There's a give button somewhere in this email. Please consider joining us either monthly or even a one-time gift. We cannot do this without you. We really can't do it without you. We love you and we'll write soon.